Manual input with angles. Let's go ahead and revisit our one to one square that we created earlier. We'll go ahead and activate the line tool here in the draw panel. And this time we're going to go ahead and use our zero comma zero as our first point like we did before. Zero comma zero and press enter. Now last time we entered either a one comma zero or a zero comma one to continue this. But there's another way to do this. We can give it a length and a direction instead of a specific coordinate. And now the direction would be a measurement of an angle. So let's try and do that. We'll go ahead and enter the at sign again, just like before. And now we will enter a length. We will use a length of 1. And now to specify an angle, we'll use the less than sign. And the angle that we want for here would be 0. So we'll go ahead and enter 0 and press enter. And there we go. We've entered our next point. And just so you can see what's happening, let's make an angle in the 45 degree direction. That's a unit length of 1. We'll go ahead and come down here again to the command line. I'll use the at sign. I'll enter 1 for my length. I'll use the less than sign for, to signify an angle. And I'll type in 45 and press enter. And there you go. I drew an angle of 45 degrees and a length of 1 for my next point that I specified. But here we're trying to draw a square. So I'll go ahead and right click and use undo. Now let's go ahead and try and finish off this square. We'll use the at sign. And then I'll go ahead and give it a length of 1. And this time I'm going to give it an angle of 90 degrees since the x-axis will be the 0. I'll do the less than sign. 90 and enter. And there you go. And now for our next point, once again, we'll use the at sign. We'll give it a length of 1 specify an angle and enter 180 and enter and now our square is done right click and close whatever it is you're drawing lines circles arcs you can always use relative and absolute points you can give a specific coordinate or you can give a magnitude and a length 